Hey YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on Hocus Pocus in honor of its 25th anniversary. I asked everyone on my Facebook and on Twitter if I should do a movie review on this movie and they said yes I should. So I, I just thought I'd do something a little different, like mix it up a little. Also, before I forget, yes, I am wearing a new shirt uh, from the Awaken uh, company that is uh, run by my uh, good friend, Justin Young. I, I want to give him a special shout out for sending me this shirt. I am truly grateful that you sent me this, buddy. And I told you I was going to wear it in one of my movie reviews, and I am. <laughs> Yeah, so let's get started. Hocus Pocus is about three witches named Winnie, Mary, and Sarah who come back after 300 years. A virgin named Max lit the candle. I don't know why he did that. He's an idiot. <laughs> uh, because uh, And now that they're back, they're going to suck the lies out of children so they can live for a very, very long time. And... It's up to Max and his friend and his sister and his friend and his new friend to stop to stop the witches before they can suck the life out of all excuse me they can suck the life out of all the kids in their hometown and with the, a little help from Thackeray Binks who was, who lived 300 years ago and he he was transformed into a cat by the witches so unless they're defeated he can't go join his sister Emily in the afterlife but on but all in all I love this movie it came out 25 years ago the year I was born so this year marks its 25th anniversary like I said and it's just one of those special Halloween movies that everyone is going to is going to love and I know I still love it till this day I really do. I enjoy watching this movie every single Halloween because it just brought that little, it just brings that little special kind of magic to it. And I really did enjoy the witches though, but there's some stuff in the movie I didn't really enjoy. But all in all, the director, Kenny Ortega, you know him, he directed High School Musical and uh, the Descendants movies. <laughs> And many other Disney Channel movies that I can't really name right now. Uh, he he really did a classic job with this movie, Hocus Pocus. And what I can say is that people who are just starting to get into this movie, I highly recommend watching it. This is something that you'll literally enjoy a lot. Without a doubt, you'll enjoy it. Because this is just one of those movies that you'll want to watch every single Halloween. I did have a few problems like with this friendly zombie named Billy who went out with the uh, witch Winnie. He, she poisoned him and sewed his mouth up. Which he in the end he was kind of like a good zombie. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for you. But that was just one of those letdowns. It was one of those letdowns that I really, really didn't like. I thought he, I wanted him to be like one of those evil zombies. But again, a good zombie is kind of good. It's not all bad, to be honest. It's not bad. But the cast of, but the cast of this movie, they, they are on point. They are, they are the best and. This is something that I think people will just remember. I really wish this movie did get a sequel though, because it's just one of those movies that, well, deserves a sequel. I mean, yeah, it has some flaws here and there, but I really do think this movie does deserve a sequel. Because think about it. Because think about it. It's just one of the. Hocus Pocus is just a classic Disney movie for every Halloween that people should enjoy watching. But yeah, I love the witches, I love the cast, and just all in all, this whole movie in general, I, I really did have a few, few problems with it, but 
I, but I just thought that, well, they could have added a few more songs instead of just the two songs, like the song, I Put a Spell on You. That, that actually is a really catchy song. That's a really catchy song, and the other song is Come Little Children, the song that Winnie's sister Sarah sings to lure the children to the, to the college, cottage. That is, those were the only two songs. I'm wondering, why did they only add two songs? It could have been more better if they added a few more songs to this movie. Because, well, people, because I wouldn't mind them adding like four songs to the movie, but I just don't understand why. Why they only added two. Two songs. That, that was just a disappointment. That was a huge disappointment. It could have been more, like I said, it could have been more better if they added like a few more, two more songs. That was just one of, that is just one of my main problems. That and the zombie. And on to the positives and negatives. The positives at first. The positives are the cast all in all, the cast in general. The actresses who played the witches, Sarah, Max, and that girl he was with, and Thackeray Binks, they were phenomenal. They looked like they were really in, into this role. I, even though it did came out, come out the year I was born, I wasn't old enough to see it because I was still a baby. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, I this cast is rocking it, especially 25 years later. I, all the cast are doing like big and better things with their lives ever since they started ever since they started do, uh, doing this movie 25 years ago. I loved this cast in general. This was a cat this is a cast that you'll remember for a very very long time. I I was just in love with the little girl who played Danny. She is, she was just so cute. She was extremely cute and adorable. Now, 25 years later, she's all grown. She's living her life. She is getting better. She is getting at, acting roles everywhere. Oh, my God. But still, back then, she was just so cute and adorable. I could just pinch her cheeks. Same with and the actor that played Max. He was a pretty good actor, too, even though he was a virgin and he lit the candle. He's... He, He's still probably a virgin till this day. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. But all in all, the cast, the girl, uh, the girl that was with them, I forgot her name. I forgot the character she was playing. I forgot the character she uh, played in the movie, but I know she was a huge help to the cast. She was a huge help to the cast in the movie for sure. And Thackeray Binks, the cat who was who used to be a human. He was just good. He was good too, even though uh, I was kind of shocked to see a talking cat when I was when I was little in this movie. I was shocked. I was wondering why the cat was talking. He he was a pretty good he was a pretty good actor in this movie too. I loved how like during the 25th anniversary special they showed like how they made the cat talk and everything. That was unique. That was legit unique for sure. And the witches, the witches, too, they were phenomenal. I loved how like they sung the song "I Put a Spell on You." That was just phenomenal, as well. I really did enjoy that song. It is kind of catchy. It legit is. Also, the special effects in this movie were perfect too, and and the script was well well written out. At first, this movie was going to be called something Disney's Halloween House. But they changed it to Hocus Pocus, which is a good title in general. And, and what, ever, what, I, what I loved about it is the special effects. They were just, like I said, on point. They were, in, they were amazing, breathtaking, even though they didn't have computers like back then to like uh to like put the special effects in and like and they didn't have like those automatic uh cranes to like lift the witches up with when they flew on the brooms they still uh went by back in the 1990s they they somehow squeaked by 
which was pretty great in my honest to god opinion it really was and the negatives uh the negatives were the bull uh the bullies that were picking on max and his sister they were just gonna, they weren't used that much they were only in like uh three scenes they were in like three scenes i thought they could have been used a whole lot more in this movie but i guess they didn't want to use them that much they didn't they probably didn't want to use them that much because they probably were of little importance but still they should have like used them in a few more scenes that way they can that way they can be used more but don't get me wrong i loved the scenes with the witches torturing them they deserved it after picking on max and his sister danny they definitely deserved it and i really that was pretty funny it was lit shit funny I enjoyed that scene so much but honest, but like I said they could have been used in more scenes that was my that was one of my main natives and the zombie named Billy he is a good zombie what zombies are supposed to be evil that was one of my another negative I had Zombies aren't supposed to be good and friendly. They're supposed to be evil. Don't get me wrong. I love the actor that played him. I just wish they made him more evil. They made him if they made him more evil and uh siding with the witches, that was one thing that could have been done. That that one thing. I really would have wanted to see that. I wanted to see that happen. Like straight up, I wanted to see that. But instead they went the other way and made the zombie all good. Which was boring. In my opinion, it was. That was just something that didn't need to be ha happening. That is my opinion. I'm sorry to say it. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to the rating. I give Hocus Pocus a solid... B plus. I know I don't know if you see it. it's definitely a B plus because the movie was great in general, don't get me wrong, but the zombie the zombie being good, I just can't see that. I I, I can't imagine a good zombie, a really good zombie instead of a bad zombie. That that was just something we didn't need. We didn't need no good zombie in, in this movie, to be honest. We needed an evil one, and the two bullies, like I said, they weren't used that much. They could have been used in more in a few scenes instead of just three. Instead of just three scenes, they were only in three scenes. At the beginning, and in the middle, and when the witches captured them and tortured them. That was honest to God something else that they need to be in more scenes that was something that they need to work on in my opinion that's something they need that's just something that needed to be done and oh well but this but still this is a classic movie a classic Disney movie that is still that is still good to this day for still good to this day for the past 25 years and I I can't wait to show this to my kid one day and to and tell them how great of a Halloween movie this is. But I wait until my kid's older though. And that's and that's it for my movie review, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And press that little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is gonna be. And also be sure to follow me on the Stardust app at Amari106. The link is in the going to be in the description box below to get uh, to see my latest movie reaction and trailer reaction. So don't forget if you see some witches doing some little magic, remember it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Take care and God bless. Peace.